Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I promised a while ago that I was going to film a grocery haul, so that's what we're here to do today. Setup's a little bit different because uh, my radiator exploded. We've had the plumbers in this morning. It's been a whole ordeal, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about some good food. I recently upped the amount I spend on my shopping just because I kind of had this realization that I was just filling my body to keep it alive and not filling it with like nice things that I would enjoy and could experiment with and all of those lovely things. So I spent £24 on this shop, which I know is not a lot, but I actually live with my boyfriend. So we do kind of split some things like this week he bought the milk and tea bags and things like that, which otherwise I would have bought. So I reckon my average weekly shop is about £30, which back in the day, like at uni, I used to spend £11 on my weekly shop, I think. So it's like more than doubled, you know, we've gone up quite a bit, but I'm really excited about some of the things I got. So I thought I'd just run through them and show you. Usually I fill my grocery hauls in the kitchen because I think it just makes a little bit more sense, but it's currently lunchtime and I'm not going to stop my flatmates from eating because I get hangry real fast and I'm sure they do too. So we're going to do it in here, but I guess we'll just dig straight in. The first things that I got, which were completely random, but I did buy them, so I wanted to show you, were these two Garnier tissue masks. I did my first tissue mask last Friday, I think, and it's a game changer. The, there's no cleanup. It's so soothing and I freaking love them, even if I do look terrifying when I'm wearing them, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that was a whole experience but these were two pounds each so i just picked these up i don't think i said actually i shop at lidl um i try and shop like sensibly or smarter so as much as i love shopping in like sainsbury's or waitrose like things are just such better value at lidl and i don't mind missing out on like the branded items for something a lot cheaper i just thought i should probably got my receipt to read you through how much everything was shouldn't i Ew, I've also just, I hope that's only just happened. The beef that I got at the packets open. Slightly concerning. Stay there, I'm gonna get my receipt. The receipt has been acquired. I spent a grand total of £24.96, but like I said, I got a few extra things. I then got some spinach. I love throwing spinach in everything. Smoothies, pastas, any kind of dinner, risottos. I just sprinkle some spinach in there because you honestly can't really taste it. And I'm out of breath because I ran up the stairs. Why can't I find it on here? How much was it? Oh, 99p my spinach was. I then got these like pea snacks, they're crisps basically made out of peas. So they're only 89 calories, 88 calories per bag. And these are the sweet chili and lemon ones. They taste honestly so good. Like I'm such a fan. They're gluten-free, high source of protein, not, oh, and baked, not fried. So big, big fan of these. They also have, a balsamic vinegar flavour which is also really good but these were 99p again I then got a little splurge item got myself some dark chocolate with salted caramel which looks so freaking good honestly I usually just get like the cheapest dark chocolate they have but recently I bought a slightly fancier one and I think I've ruined myself for the rest of my life so I'm going to be spending more on dark chocolate but it was £1.99 expensive item i then got two bananas which i remember were 33p i believe yes they were 33p again just to shove in a smoothie i got two because christian quite likes having a smoothie and last week i had to have like half a smoothie because christian wanted some so i bought two so that we're fully fully stocked for all the smoothie making salted nachos these are the basic ones just because i want to make a chili and i really like having nachos with my chili for like the crunch aspect of it and they were 45p i also recently started getting these like fancy soups i'm thinking is this recyclable yes it is i was about to say probably tins of better but this is recyclable i just got the rustic vegetable one i have half of this for like one lunch and half the next day or something and it's just really nice in the colder months to be able to have a soup and for some reason like they don't have a very extensive range of tin soups at little and i just kind of got bored of all of them so i'm just switching it up and this was 89p i then also this week decided to get a fancy bread because christian was basically saying like like i mentioned before some of our food just wasn't the best so i got this fancy seeded bloomer bread that comes in a paper bag that's when you know it's fancy and this was one pound something i think 89p not bad oh another thing i don't usually get but it looks so good 
was the Linda McCartney's Two Vegetarian Cheese and Leek Platts. I quite like having something I can just bung in the oven. Again, it's kind of comfort food, warm, flaky pastry. How could you not? And they're vegetarian, so I was like, does that count as healthy? Maybe, probably not. And these were, oh, what a numpty. Oh, she's charged me twice for these and I only have one. So they should have been £1.49, but she charged me £2.98. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? One thing I will say about Lidl is like the cashiers and like checking out process can be quite stressful because they do just rush through it very quickly. So you have to be like mentally prepared for that, otherwise it's fine. Um, then moving on to my mints, like I said, it has broken. I'm hoping that happened in the journey because they look fine. So we'll see how that goes. But I got 20% fat beef mints, which were £1.49. Is that right? Yeah, £1.49, which again, I'm just gonna shove in a chili. Christian always also likes 20% fat meat to make burgers with. So if there's any left, he could potentially make a burger. Then I got two avocados. I low key think I'm allergic to avocados. Like every time I have one, my mouth gets super itchy but I can't, like I like them so much. It's kind of irritating, honestly. So if I'm really stuck for lunches, I like having mashed avo on toast, but otherwise just like in wraps, maybe a little bit here and there is fine, hopefully, but I got two, I know Krishna will probably eat one anyway. So got two avocados. I think they were like 89p, yeah. Each was 89 pieces, one pound 78 for two avocados. I got a broccoli, again, I like hiding these in dinners to try and make myself healthier than I really am, which was 69 p. I got some dates. Guys, I don't know about you, but I freaking love a date. I treat these like sweets or candy. And I always heard people saying like, oh, you can put peanut butter on them or like chocolate chips and stuff. I just like them as is. I just eat them straight out the bag. Um, so these were one pound 29. I buy them every week. It's like a solid staple of my food shop. I also got a cucumber, a lettuce, and some carrots. There's like some form of salad with bits and bobs in there. The cucumber was 46p, the lettuce was 99p, and the carrots were 89p. I also then got a little cheeky ice cream. This is like a low calorie ice cream, but it tastes so good. It's 356 calories per tub. Got the salted caramel flavor but would highly, highly recommend. I don't, I try not to eat it all in one sitting. It's maybe like two or three sittings, but it tastes so, so good. And it says it's high in protein. I don't really know what the heck it's got in it, but I'm a big fan and it was £1.49. No, it wasn't. That's the chocolate, salted caramel, £1.99. Another weekly staple is some Greek yogurt. Again, great in smoothies, but also I like having it with tinned peaches, which Christian always laughs at me at, laughs at me for, because he thinks I look like an old lady eating peaches and cream, but <laughs> peaches and yogurt. And I think it's really great. It's just like a nice healthy snack. Like it kind of fools me into thinking it's dessert when it's really not. So this was 45p and then I think two, three more things. I got a lime, the lime was 20p I remember. Then I got Raven apples again, a weekly staple. I try and have an apple a day just so I can tick off one of my five a day, you know? And these were £1.19. And then the last thing I got for my chili is some mixed beans. I always try and pick up either like a kidney bean, a chickpea or a mixed bean whilst I'm in there just so that I can like keep my supply up because I'm slowly turning into one of those people who hates going to like the pantry and not having what you need. I really hate that. And I know it's like a bit of a luxurious way to live, like having like a backup of everything. But I think whilst I can and whilst I remember, it's nice to do. So I like having that. Like I can't be a household that doesn't have popcorn. It's the worst thing when you go to watch a movie and you think, oh, I really fancy some popcorn and you don't have any. I'm talking about like the microwave popcorn. I hate that. So I've got ample supply of popcorn, but I'm just turning into that person. Not sure what's happening. But these were 55p and my hand is sticky for some reason, which is slightly concerning because I've just put everything on my bed. But that was everything I bought. Like I said, we did get like milk and soy sauce and some fabric softener and tea bags and stuff, which we do share like me and my boyfriend, but we kind of take it in turns. I say that I do the shopping, so I kind of allocate where what's going, but I know next time I go shopping, like Christian bought the tea bags last time. So I'm, I'll buy the tea bags next time. 
so that's kind of how we work it out at least so my shop is usually around 30 pounds like i said a lot more than i usually spend but really happy with everything i bought i think you can tell it's like there's quite a lot of healthy stuff in there don't get me wrong like healthy snacks and things but it's still not like a coherent shop like i haven't got a meal for every day of the week i kind of just play it by ear i'm not one to sit and plan out my meals if you do good on you i think that's so good i really want to start to be able to do that but right now like planning two meals like the fact that i've got chili ingredients in here for tonight is a big win for me so that was my shop let me know what you think of it or whether it was similar to your shop or whether you actually buy loads more or way less and you think i'm i've gone a bit over the top maybe but i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please go ahead and hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below because i post a new video every sunday and hopefully i'll see you very soon bye